When you look at uh, some of these uh, uh, um, uh, marine climate altering and other techno fixes, um, they raise a lot of concerns, and particularly uh, on the uh, people who work on climate justice like us, um, their implications and the risks. So we ask three questions. What does it mean for ecological integrity? That's point number one. Point number two, what about environmental justice? And then finally, uh, the issue of climate justice and, uh, and, and, and the risk to the people. We accept that um, even if all the NDCs of countries are combined, uh, they cannot uh, 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 reach us to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Yet, so we need to really to be uh, 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 innovative on what other ideas do we have, either in technology, finance, and capacity building? Is this the kind of technology we need to fix the, uh, the climate crisis? And is it adequate? And is it safe to the people? Or is it dangerous? So if these issues, critical issues, which are raised by communities which are the front line of climate crisis, then I think we need more and more conversation as we look for these technologies. We also invest in people. I believe that people are more solutions and solutions from the people are the ones which are more sustainable. We are not opposed to these experiments, but we need to look at the long-term impacts.